Welcome everyone. Um, I am going to do a video. I was going to say a short video, but you know what? I'm not going to put any limitation. However, it wants to go long. It wants to go. It'll go um, about how I read tarot. Um, and it's how I read it. And I'm doing it because many of you have asked me to like do a class. And I'll be honest, um, I use my intuition so much. I don't know if I could do an actual class. Um, we'll see. But what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to give you an idea of how I read. Um, you know, when I first began Tarot, uh, you think it's all about what is the meaning of the card. Um, and it is good to know the basic meaning. You know, and what you can do is what I did in the beginning is I bought a deck of cards that actually have the description below it. So it gives you an idea. Now, I don't really like using these cards now because the words kind of, like, I don't want to see them. But in the beginning, they were great. Um, so, you know, before you get to the point where you can compl completely trust your intuition, this is the way to go, I think. Um, and there's many different decks out there that you can find this. Because I cannot recall the name of that deck. <laughs> um, anyway. So I feel like that's a great place to start. And then, you know, I think when you're buying your decks, um, it depends how you want to read them. Some like to stick, to, you know, to the facts, like to what the card means, and that's that. Um, I'm someone where the image of the card really directs the way my reading goes. Um, it, it, like, shows in a story form. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a couple what I recommend to begin with, to study with, to do to other people, are three, is a three card spread. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use um, the Gilded Tarot, and we're going to do a couple different spreads. Um, and then I'm going to pin, I'm going to um, point out to you like what I look for, and we'll ask particular questions. Um, you know, how long do you shuffle your deck? Some people say three times. I used to do it three times. I think you do it until you feel like you don't, until it's time to stop. I don't really feel there's a number. Um, you know, I feel like what you need to do is create your own way of doing it. What feels good to you. All right, and I want you to remember, um, I always cut the cards that I do in three. Um, but I want, I want you to remember, this is about a fool's journey. That's what Tarot is. It starts at the fool, and it's working its way through the major arcanas, right? Um, so if the fool is, this is another way to learn how to read, too. Let's say, you know, whoever you're reading for is the fool. And if the wands start showing up, that means that they've been on a wand path, which means um, desirable, um, you know, uh, passionate. But if, let's say, a negative card shows with that, it could show that it's been a lot of anger. Um, you know, so you think of the opposites, and you go from there. Um, and then you kind of know what that major arcana is trying to teach the fool based on what journey they're on. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to do a um, couple of examples. And the first question, you know what, what I, I think what I should do is after this recording, if I decide to even put it up, because I'm just winging it, um, but I'm doing it for you. So um, if you like it, I think the next video should be based on questions you have, just a question, not, you know, like, give me a full spread you know, and something we can answer within three cards. Um, so you can start trusting your intuition also. Also, as I'm doing this, I want you to, um, I want you to do it along with me, okay? So, I'm just going to shuffle. I allow the cards to come out naturally. You certainly don't have to. Um... Let's make our first question. 
how does someone feel about us? So, how do they feel about us? Nor and that, and that is a question that comes up a lot in personal readings. So, it's good to really learn how to cover that. So, in three cards, how do they feel about us? I always say be patient. Let the cards come out when they're ready to come out. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands. We're only going to take three. We have the Emperor. And we have the Hermit. Um, we have some very strong energy, first of all. You know what? We have three cards left. Let's actually do two examples. We have the death card. I'm not going to do it in reverse. We have the two of pentacles. And we have the page of pentacles. So... First of all, something you do want to learn is what sign each card represents in the major arcanas, like the Hermit represents a Virgo. Now, that doesn't mean it always has to be a Virgo in your reading, um, but you want to think about the Virgo energy. Um, you know, you want to think about, you know, what is a calling for someone to be in that type of energy. Anyway, I think it's good to learn... Um, what sign they are, because we have the Emperor right next to the Hermit, which is a card of Aries. We could very simply be talking about an Aries and a Virgo here, right? And the Ace of Wands, so this could be very simple. The Ace of Wands um, is a yes, is a, is a, you know, a passion has been sparked. Um, at least that's how I read it, you know, and you read it in different ways in different readings, I feel. So here, um, the question was, you know, how do they feel about it? So um, there's passion, right? There's passion. Um, and then you have the emperor and the hermit together. So you have the spark, right? And then you have the emperor. So the emperor is someone, you know, it's someone that, um, first of all, going to be a boss, have to say that it can be um you know it can certainly be a father figure it can be someone that we look up to um it can be us and someone is looking up to us and then you have the hermit right next to that and that is uh spiritual energy right this is when i'm sometimes i feel like i'm in the dark night of the soul um but i'm seeking something i'm seeking the light so, you know, it feels like if we're talking about two different people here, um, it, you know, they feel like opposites, to be honest. They feel like opposites. And I feel like in this reading, and here I am just kind of taking over this reading, um, but I feel like in this reading, the emperor has to be the one to um, spark the light of the hermit. And that may mean this is a fire that needs to spark the earth, you know, to have this person um, see the possibilities. You know, I'm noticing too, and this is another thing you want to do, is you want to look at the image and see everything in it. You know, first I thought this, were, this was ropes, almost like I'm setting myself free. Now I feel like it's a snake. Um, you know, but the thing is, even if there's a snake here, the hermit can see it. It's like his lantern is right on it, right? So it's illumination. Um, and this may talk about fear. Uh, you know, this person could have been in fear of being bitten by the snake again. Right? Being bitten by a snake again. But, but now the hermit's in a stage where really he is 
Rishi is able to illuminate um, their path. So, I'm worried about this snake biting me again. Listen, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it before it can even do that. So I feel like this is what, saying um, to me that this person who has been in the hermit energy, again, whether it's a Virgo or not, uh, we all go through this, um, you know, has been trying to come to a place of peace and trust. And I feel like, um, you know, and here I go, like I, I knew I was going to get off course. This is why I have a hard time teaching because now I'm just telling you everything I see. Um, and I'm noticing there's a cliff there. But again, he's not going to fall off the cliff because his lantern is lit. It's showing him the way. Hmm. Um, you know, and now let's look at the emperor. The emperor is very strong. The emperor has what looks to me like degrees in his hand, right? They could be scrolls, but they feel like degrees, like... Is maybe someone who, um, you know, went for their bachelor's and now has their math, their master's or their doctorate, that type thing. I feel like there's, um, with this particular emperor, you know, I feel like I'm just going to put this reading out no matter what, because I feel like I'm talking about particular people right now. Um, but I feel like this emperor, um, puts a lot around, you know, is someone who puts a lot of value in knowledge, in education, um, you know, and is again, could be opposite because, you know, I feel like the emperor is seeking, um, you know, physically how to make my world as strong as I can, where the hermit, I feel like, is learning how to open up this other part um, so they could be opposite, but in, but in the same way, be so good for each other, right? Um, you know, I would totally trust this because the Ace of Wands is coming first. You can certainly clarify. Um, but uh, you definitely have to let me know what you think. Um, and you can pull out the same three cards for yourself, the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, and the Hermit. Um, you know, and what I look at also in the cards are which way are they facing? The hermit is facing towards the future. The emperor is in the present. Um, no one is in the past here. So, like, no one is um, harping on the past. I feel like if the hermit was, now because, you know, he, is, he or she has complete illumination of, you know, if I'm worried about a snake reappearing, um, I can see it. If I'm worried about falling off a cliff, um, I can see. I see my path. This is someone who's trusting in um, divine, in spiritual, and in earthly, right? Um, it's almost like I'm learning how to, this is where, this is someone who's learning how to use their intuition to determine their next steps, where the emperor, I feel like, is someone who, um, like, methodically, thinks out that next step. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like they're perfect for each other. So that's what I would say on that one. You guys will have to let me know. Um, again, we have the Ace of Swords, the Emperor, and the Hermit. So again, you can see the, the hermit is facing the future. The emperor is right here, right now. And the ace of wands is what opens this up. And you can just see the spark, right, from this ace of wands. Like ignition. You know, I'm thinking of um, ignition. Dun, 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 dun. A David Bowie song. A song. Hmm. It's interesting. Anyway. Um, you know, and I've learned just to say everything that comes to me, um, because even if I don't get it, understand it, I feel like someone in my audience will. 
Um, so David Bowie may mean something. Okay. Let's go to the second one. So we open up with the death card, which is a card of Scorpio. We have the two of pentacles in between. Um, same card. Or same question. And then we have the page of pentacles. Um, you know, the first thing this makes me feel is someone is closing a door. You know, this is the death card. The death card talks about an ending, a clear ending. You know, it's not like the ten of wands where we shut the door, but uh, we couldn't reopen it. You know, sometimes we reopen it. The death card is a clear ending. Um, but it can be an ending to many things. Uh, it can be men an ending to... The way I think about things, um, you know, um, if this is relating to, um, I'm wondering if another person is going to be with me, uh, it can be them who has to clear, you know, end something. Anyways, the two pentacles is in the middle. And, you know, you can also look at this as past, present, and future. Um, but here I have the two pentacles. And the Two Pentacles is making the decision about adding something into your world, into your physical world. Um, and the Page of Pentacles is next to it. Some of you, you know, listen, I'm doing it again as I'm reading for you. See, that's why I have a hard time teaching a class. But anyways, I still feel like, you know, how I'm reading it is someone has an opportunity um, for some type of learning whether that be uh, through college, whether it be online, um, whatever it may be, um, there's an opportunity of moving in that direction. But this person is at, you know, is right at that crossroads. Now, being at a crossroads, don't, don't think bad, think good. This is giving me options, right? What I want to do. So I feel like, this, if you know, this person is saying that this would have to end. I know that if I go on this journey towards knowledge and um, not just knowledge, but um, building my foundation, all of that, um, something has to. It's almost like something is sacrificed. Um, but you know, something is sacrificed. But again, here, here's a ship behind him in the Two of Pentacles, even if something is sat, uh, sacrificed, here is something that is of great value coming in on that ship. And um, now I'm literally making the decision if I'm going to, which direction I'm going to follow. Um, and here, you know, here I am thinking you all know the meaning of these cards, um, but I have to tell you what I'm basing it off of what is what I'm seeing also. You know, here's this, between these two pentacles is a rainbow, and it almost feels like, you know, I'm, either or, I'm good, right? Either or, like either, it whichever pentacle I choose here, it's a good thing. Um, you know, it may be just a path, because you see that they're connected, that rainbow connects these two pentacles. It may be two different paths that open up, and ultimately, whichever one you choose will come to the same conclusion, um, ending. Um, and one may be taking the long road, and I feel like that person who's taking the long road um, is on a path of knowledge. I kind of, even though I'm not reading them together, I can't help but see the hermit above this page of pentacles. Some are, um, you know, yet this is also in your material world because it's pentacles, it's earth. Um, but this may be something that someone is choosing to do spiritually. Um, you know, but page of pentacles, seeking the knowledge of. Okay, so that's just what I'm picking up. So we have the two of pentacles. First of all, he's looking right at us. And that's why I feel like it's just a little bit of crossroads. We have the death card right before that. And I'm reading it as 
what death asks of us in the tarot, not to resist it, um, not to resist it. You know, there must be a reason, right? If it's coming from divine, like don't resist this, there must be a reason. And here's the shift in that two of pentacles of so something, at least a pentacle coming to him, right? And I feel like what it does is if this is a path I choose, it gives me an opportunity to maybe even learn something new or learn a new craft. Um, this is when I am in, like, I feel like when I'm in a page of pentacles, um, I'm in my element. Even if I'm not earth, I'm laid back, I'm learning, I'm open, right? I'm building, you know, and then let's look that he has one pentacle in his hand, so he does take one of those pentacles, and then chooses a way, a path. Now, that's how I read it. Okay. Let's do another example. Um, we use the same deck. Let's do... Um, what do we need to know for the day? In three cards, what do we need to know for the day? We have the three of wands. Huh. We have the magician. It's almost like divine is saying right to us, like, Think that it's going to be a great day, and that's what it will be. Um, three uh, wands is, we're going to take this. Um, you know, I don't like to refuse cards that come down on the table unless I feel like it's because of me. Like I accidentally, I could feel that I lost grip or something. Um, but when I feel like they naturally come out, I don't like to refuse them. Look at this. We have the Ace of Cups. Wow. And then we have the page of cups. It's like, we, you know, it's like universe is saying with this ace of cups going into the page of cups, um, we're, we're giving you unconditional love. We're pouring our unconditional love down on you. And we ask that you go spread it. It's like spread it through the world, right? Um, so what do we need to know today? It, this is how I would read it. So you have the three of wands. This is about your perception to me. The Three of Wands is thinking of the future in an optimistic way, as in anything is possible, right? I feel like the three is the willingness and the knowing that um, I need to start right where I'm at, right? Um, it's, to me, the Three of Wands is letting go of control of how something must turn out. And instead, um, first of all, I feel like because the magician is next to it, it's like realizing one's own power in determining how your day will be. My question was, I think, what was it? It was, um, what do we need to know today or something like that? Um, so I feel like, you know, this is divine giving us a direct answer of, you know, you do your part and look at this. And we'll do our part. So this unconditional love that's coming directly down on you. Um, and then you're looking out into the future. like, And then you're the one who's spreading it. Starting with where my perception is at. And the magician is right there. Um, and I feel like the magician, you know, magician is many things. If it comes in reverse, it's... Um, it can be very tricky type energy, and it can be someone trying to trick us, something trying to influence us. Um, but when it's in the upright, you know, it's the power of who you are. Think about the Tarot, Major Arcana, the um, magician is the first person that the fool meets. And he meets him to, to kind of prepare him for the journey ahead and reminding him, that he already carries the power of 
every suit, the pentacle, the wands, the swords, the cups, um, you know, but why? Because he's also, you know, we got to remember that we're also spirit, right? We're not just this human body. So both of us have in that experience and, you know, it's almost like different, um, it may seem like different dimensions, but it's not. Anyway, okay, so here I go. Um, again, this is what I do in my tarot. I just, whatever is coming to me, I let it go because I don't feel like it's, I personally, I trust myself at this point where I know where I feel like in some things that I'm saying, um, either are coming from a higher me or a higher being. Anyway, so this is a great reading for to start a day. You know, um, seize the day. You put in your energy towards the day. We put in our energy towards the day. And then the Page of Cups is a beautiful um, energy, right? It's, you know, it's where you're learning to love you. Um, truly, I feel. I also feel the energy of love is in the atmosphere. Well, I know that some of that love is divine, right? Because that Ace is like pouring it's it's um unconditional love hmm um you know and i feel like let's just say somewhere in the back of your mind you had like maybe you're single and you're thinking i wonder when love will happen uh you know this says it's showing like as we spread right the love and this is of divine love um we need not worry. It'll show. It shows when it's meant to show. Um, but, you know, also the Page of Cups is, is appreciating you and, and what you bring to the table as an individual. You're um, doing what it is you love. You know, you can never go wrong with that. Um, anyway, guys, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this because I just seem to take over and read the cards. Um, and I wanted to teach you, you know, well, let, you know, let's look a little, little bit here. So we have the page of cups. Where's he heading? He's heading towards the future. He's got the ace of cups at his back, right? It's with him, um, through all the moon cycles. We open with the three of wands, you know, his back is towards us and that may be um, rep, you know, meaning representing um, the future and what lies ahead. You know, he's looking right at a ship there, even though the ship has not reached him. Maybe that ship's not even real. But nonetheless, it's saying in your mind eye, it's real, right? The magician next to it. Maybe it's bringing something to him. Maybe it's taking him away somewhere. Um, and the magician next to that, you know, you have the power to discern which way. Um, but just know it's like the universe is behind you, is there with you. Um, but anyway, so this is what do we need to know for today? Um, wow. We create our day, right? We're, you know, we have a big part in this. It's like divine is doing their part, but we also have a big part in what it is that we create for ourselves. And maybe it's saying it starts with self-love. Okay. Let's do one more of those. I honestly don't know if I'm helping you yet. Um... And maybe I'll only know that through the comments. You know, I'm the kind of learner, um, if I do it, I learn it. Well, we have the full. Beautiful. So, first off, you know, the full, I always tell everyone's the full in the reading. Um, unless, for some are the reason they're not, but... <coughs> The main thing, the full is, is about taking a chance. Um, 
you know, in every tarot deck, he's got his trusty dog by his side. I feel his dog is the spirit guide. And um, no matter what, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, um, you know, that, that guide is by your side. If you decide to jump off the cliff, then I'm jumping off the cliff with you. Um, you know, because the fool can, can be chaotic, can be um, too... What's the word? To, um, ah, it's another thing. When I reach around, I swear, I just lose words. Too hasty, maybe. Um, but I'm not feeling that. And another thing we remember about the fool was, you know, this fool was starting free and clear. Um, no matter what the past was, you know, I'm sure the fool has had a past. He's probably walked quite a few of the well, maybe he just walked the pentacles, and that's why we had a lot of pentacles. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what's coming next. You know, what am I noticing? I'm noticing the fool's got like this kick to his step. is falling asleep. I say remember have patience. Wait for the cards to come to you. Because they do. Maybe the perfect cards had to get lined up in some way. So again, we're talking about today. Um, we have Temperance. Beautiful. So Temperance is a card of Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. Um, can talk about the Vir um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, he's heading in, heading towards you, which is a good sign because the Knight of Pentacles... You know, let's think about pentacles. Pentacles is a sturdy, I don't know if that's the right word. Um, the, this knight of pentacles, we can trust. We can trust all the knights, um, but some may move too quickly. This is, this is a, this may be a slow moving type of knight, um, but there is purpose in how slow this knight is moving. Um, it can be that, you know, with the full opening, this reading that, um, here's divine in between, right? Divine timing, controlling when this night comes in, um, you know, making sure, hey, listen, it, it is the right time. At the, at the, you'll be at the right time at the right place. And that is all you need to worry about with opening up as the fool. Um, this night will reach you. You will reach it. And um, all will be good, you know, Um the guardian, to me, the Knight of Pentacles, and I don't know where I learned this at, or I just feel it, um, is also guardian angel energy. So um, it's kind of beautiful how this is traveling through divine energy. Temperance, mixing of the fire and the water. Um, all about divine order tells me, tells us that you're, Someone is about to enter into a destined time period. Let's see what else we have. Look at this. We have the Eight of Swords, and then we have the Moon. Okay, and I find it interesting the way they came out. Now, this is another thing um, you may learn, and I feel like you learn it on your own. Like, you know, some people need spreads. Um, I'm someone where... I kind of feel like my spread happens as it goes. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just, because these two extra cards in here, they feel separate of this. This is just how I'm feeling. Yet, here they are, so we need to look at them. So I feel like it's an underlying um, energy that must be before the full, right? Must be before the full. So we have the Eight of Swords with the Moon. Right? I mean, this is such a beautiful energy up here, but then this underlying energy, the eight, the eight of swords is 
about a self-created prison. You create it because you feel like um, you need the protection, right? Or whoever you're reading for, they feel like they need to protect themselves. But truly, what this card means to me anyways, it, because eight is about a new beginning. So it's asking you to free yourself, right? Um, there's a blindfold on. So there's something she doesn't want to see. The moon is there. Pisces, but also the moon cast a shadow. So the shadow, and she kind of feels like she's in shadowy energy. So the shadow, which means the unknown, is causing someone to perhaps stay within this self-created prison. Now, because we created it, we could uncreate it. And what it's saying is take off the blindfold. You know, step between the swords and start moving. Or take a moment and knock these swords down. Understand that usually they're of the mind. Um, even if they've been created by someone else, we ourselves, and we have to take responsibility, responsibility for it, um, decided to take on those swords and then gave them the name of protection and truly what they are, are walls to keep us from living. This is about taking a chance, even if, just like how we had the three of wands, um, I don't know how it's going to end. But the advice is, if I create it from the fool's energy, so I'm no longer allowing the past to affect me. And it, listen, it's like divine is waiting for someone to learn that, right? This may be a karmic lesson. And simply you're made, simply it's about learning it. I learn it and then I let it go. Um, because if you don't in the Eight of Swords, always think about what's the next card. That would be the Nine of Swords. So that could turn someone's, what they think their protection is into... Um, because you're going to feel it within, you know, this is energy that you're holding within and it's going to show itself, um, in a way, in some, pr probably a physical way, <coughs> maybe in a mental way, um, you know, but what's in the dark needs to come to the light. Think about your body in that way too, like whatever I'm holding on to, um, you know, it's like, it's like drinking poison to affect them. You know, no matter how many, how you sh tell yourself that that will work, it won't work. It will only affect you. Okay. So anyway, here I see, this is what I do. I just start reading. Um, anyway, this is the underlying energy of that. Um, you know, what else I love about this reading is you have temperance just in between. And temperance is controlling the energy, right? If something is wrong, she pull back in, right? She's controlling that energy. And that is, that is divine's message to you, to us. Um, that, you know, only worry about what you can control. Um. But I feel like this Knight of Pentacles, it's talking about something that is coming your way. So it's an opportunity. Um, it's something within someone's material world. And it has to travel through divine energy. So to reach the full, I feel like the only thing that would stop um, this Knight is this Eight of Swords. Because it's an armor. Right, it's like a a wall that you cannot you cannot get through. Um, do you know, I'm thinking about in the in the old days, you know, and um, geez, I just watched a, a movie last night where they were like catapulting to get through the wall of um, it was Jerusalem. Um, anyway. That's what I feel like, you know, like we would have to blast through this person's wall and their wall is just because they're afraid of the uncertainty. Um, 
But but that's what life is about. That's what the fool was saying. That's what life is about. That's what the joy is about. Finding out what's next. Seeing the positive in it, right? Um, and then moving forward. Divine is like, that's what we're waiting for. We're just waiting for you to understand that, um, you know, there's no need to have this fear. Again, think back at that hermit energy. But even here, we have the Knight of Pentacles which is a guardian angel energy. You know, it's like this knight commands respect as it travels through um, almost like time. So anyway, that's what I'm getting from that, guys. Um, you know, I keep thinking, what am I going to title this reading? I'm overthinking it. But the reason being is I don't want to read it for you. I want you to, you know, I want you to practice to read it. Um, and I feel like the only way you can do that is ask a question. Let's do one more. Um, ask a question and then um, trust yourself in what you see. Because, you know, sometimes I and think about the numbers. What does the number mean? Even if you don't know the official number, what does it mean to you? Like when you think of nine, what do you think about, right? Uh, it's next to the 10, right? And then the row, the 10 means that that part of the journey is over, just that part. Because there's something new open. So the nine, to me, is about the reflection, right? Um, because, you know, or the hermit, every after every cycle, go into the hermit mode and that is to seek the light of the wisdom of where I just was right just the wisdom um, and you know I see tarot from a much more spirit spiritual type of way um, but it's going to be each individual all right I feel like I gotta Let's put all the cards back in. I feel like I hear someone saying, put all the cards back in. Of course, I did in reverse. So, let's give this a couple shuffles. Um, and while I'm shuffling, just think of your question. You know, maybe it's a personal question. And, um, what should I do now? What should I do now? What would divine like me to do now regarding whatever your situation is? Three cards. While I'm shuffling, just think of your question. Let's give it a cut. To me, a cut means that um, I'm clearing of the old reading and I want to bring in the new reading. That's what it means to me. There may be, you know, like there may be, may be terminology or a way you're supposed to do, you know, this is the order in which you do tarot. Um, but I have to tell you, um, when I first began, you know, before I really trusted myself, it started to get stressful. I feel like that's where my daughter is at right now. Um, she's trying to trust herself, you know, because she says to herself, you know, how can I tell other people how to live a great life when, you know, uh, my life is difficult right now. Um, she still appreciates it, don't get me wrong, um, but it's a hard time in life right now. Um, so how can I then bring wisdom to others? Um, and I tell her, trust your experience, like, you know, what you're going through, other people are also going through or, ha or have yet to go through, but will be going through. So you, you help guide them and then just be open because I feel like your spirit guide or whoever is giving the information, um, if need be, um, that's where it's just trusting in what you're saying. Even if it makes no sense to you. You know, I told my daughter that, that there, every once in a while I'll do a reading where like, ah, uh, like this one here, like, ah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it out. 
um, but then I decided to do it, like, because I don't want to censor myself, um, and I think if I'm saying it, it must matter to someone, that's like this reading, I'm thinking the same thing, um, all right, anyway, guys, I also feel there's something about putting both of your feet on the floor. I normally sit like Indian style, um, but connecting, like connecting. Okay. What do you need to know, right? We have the Five of Cups. So Five of Cups is... is me looking at my current situation, but I'm looking at I'm looking at um, how everything goes wrong, right? How did it all go wrong? Why did it all go wrong? So, to me, the five, the number five, is about change, and it's also about you know biblically grace. So. It's asking for a graceful change. Um, that's how I feel. Now, five may mean something completely different to you. Go with what you feel. Um, but ultimately, the Five of Cups talks about what has yet to be found. You know, if I make the choice to not live in the past and, you know, to see the two cups, he needs to turn around. He merely needs to turn around. So it's where I'm putting my focus, focusing on what I've lost. And again, you know, I feel like Divine is saying, mm -mm. focus on what can be. Focus on what is new, what is yet to happen. Right now, I've learned, if nothing else, from those, those cups that have fallen over, I had, you know, what I can do. Instead of feeling it, is now I can just learn from it, right? I need to just learn from it, and then let it go, turn around, and two new cups are there. By the way, this card is heading towards the six of cups. Many people read that as someone of the past. It's it's about thinking about happy memories. It's remembering someone or a time. Um, when things were good, and it's a different perspective than the five, right? But we want to think about the next card. Um, do we reach it? I hope so. You know, but right now it's showing us where someone is at, right? So something I need to change within that. And, you know, the more graceful I can be during this time, the better off. It will be something may be over. It may be hard to handle, right? Um, even if you don't love someone, like truly, like you're not in love with someone, it's still hard to let that go, right? Spend a lot of time, given a lot of effort. But divine is saying, mm, there's two cups, right? Mm, there's two brand new shiny cups that are waiting for you. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. So, Knight of Swords can be Air, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, again, you know, how I look at a knight is every knight will complete its mission. That we can trust. That we can trust in. Um, and it's interesting, I'm reading this knight as Almost like the Six of Pentacles, or the Six of Cups, I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, first of all, I feel like if you allow yourself, almost like some, someone is coming in, and um, I feel like this eagle is giving you warning, like you're seeing it. You know, maybe you're seeing a particular bird, um, but it's like, and I'm saying warning, um, but the only warning I'm feeling is you or whoever whoever you're reading for um, and where their focus is, right? This eagle may just fly right over the head and I'll never even notice it. Um, 
but still, this night is coming. So it may come as a surprise, um, or you may feel it. Excuse me. Oh my god, I never sneeze in a reading. That's weird. Anyways, this can be communication. Um, you know, the swords talk about, you know, communication, the written word. Um, you know, you may hear from someone of the past with, um, you know, through that type of way. Huh. Let's keep going. You know, for some reason, I'm just feeling who's ever in those two of cups behind this person. Of course, one is this person. Um, but I feel like the other person may be within the Knight of Swords. And I feel like this person needs you as much as you need them. You know, I feel like, like they may bring you some type of truth. And you may bring them some type of comfort. Interesting. Um, and again, I apologize. This is just how I'm feeling it. Um, and how, what, what triggered that was the coloring in the cards and how they're really looking, right? Kind of looking at each other. And although I'm, you know, looking at what I have lost, it's still beautiful, right? It's still beautiful around this person. So this person may have forgotten how to be grateful for what he has what 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 he has at right this moment um you know and this could be someone who lives more in their emotions and again i feel it's like the balancing out so you bring this type of beauty into their life and they bring um this i don't know this this truth um someone living like in their unique skin um, being appreciated for exactly who you are type energy let's see what else there is we have the two of wands we have the ace of swords and look at this we have the knight of cups interesting so again i feel like we have a love reading um what's in the middle the knight of cups so it has one person over in the five of cups that is focusing on what i've lost and it makes sense but there's still so much beauty around this person um and the two cups have yet to come in that this person doesn't even know exist if we move over here though the two of wands puts you um, turns this person around out of the five of wands and puts them in the energy of the two of wands again wands optimistic um, starting at the beginning right taking it from the beginning um, this person hasn't quite walked on the path it's like the path begins when I walk through these two wands then it begins but I just have to walk I'm just gonna walk from here to hear and maybe here i've got to trust divine and i already know we kind of already know what exists what waits and that's these two cups so in a way this person is now trusting right but still has to take the action of walking through the gate and in some way somehow this night of swords is what helps in my eyes turn this energy around so again some type of communication some type of um meeting someone who uh, truly appreciates who you are like uniquely who you are um maybe someone hasn't been feeling it Maybe they think they need the knight to show up to be the knight of cops. You know, feel me emotionally, but instead someone may be feeling you um, in a, um, what do, how do I want to say this? Like, 
a very spiritual type way. And then below, we have, just like in the last reading, we have the Ace of Swords comes out with the Knight of Cups. Well, hello. So, first of all, the Ace of Swords. I call that my yes card. Um, you know, this is a path of learning, you know, think of swords. It To me, the path is about learning um, who I am, my unique self within the world. Um, it's the truth will only do, right? Um, maybe I lived in a time when everything was clouded, but now I want, like, I want facts, right? I want truth. I want spiritual truth. Um, this can certainly be, you know, communication, but also learning to communicate, uh, truly learning to communicate and maybe what this path is all going to, it's going to be about. Um, and then what comes from that is the Knight of Cups. Well, to me, the Knight of Cups, first of all, could be Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, um, you know, of a younger time, um, maybe someone who's a little younger. Anyway, I'm looking at as a knight and what this knight brings to the table and what he brings to the table is the cup. Is the cup. So I find it interesting that um, this knight is bringing the ace of swords and I feel like you are bringing the ace of cups. And that is, uh, it's, uh, I have to let this reading out. I don't know what I'm going to title it. It is about how, trying to help you learn to row, and I apologize that I'm just kind of taking over. Um, but that's what happens, is it just starts popping out to me. You know, it's kind of interesting that... Um, I just feel like whoever is in this, what is this, two of wands, you know, wants to go this way you know, is maybe a little hesitant, right? But this is what I really want. And I do feel like um, this is the the ability to do that, right? It's, it's illuminated. Look at the deer, just nice and calm, right? It's like the squirrel, the rabbit, um, all happy. I don't know. So anyway, um, I feel like it's just two people who bring two, again, two different things to the table, who help balance each other out. I feel like one is just going to help them, help someone emotionally open their emotional self, and someone is going to help someone else open up more spiritually, see it from a spiritual lens. And I feel like, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's meant to be, because boom, the Ace of Swords, boom, the Knight of Cups, they just feel like what's ever up here, now together now together um so anyways that is what i see um again it was the five of cups with the knight of swords and the two of wands and then i feel like Again, the underlying energy is the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. If you notice, this Knight is traveling from the Ace of Swords. It's almost like the Knight reaches this person first. That ignites them in whatever way it is, right? Communication, uh, the spoken word, uh, whatever it is. And boom, here is this Knight of cups and um if nothing else i feel like whoever is in the five of cups sure has turned around <laughs> has turned around is and is now about to find out what you know you know sometimes you think nothing is ahead um but this is um i don't know this is pretty special so this is someone just needs to change their focus um and I do feel like, again, something comes in to help you. I feel like there's like this eagle that comes into the picture, but are you paying attention to it? Are they? And I'm saying, I don't know if I should be saying you or they. Um, 
So, I feel like whatever this night brings to you brings freely. Like, the water is just very flowing in there. Um, and it feels to have some power behind it. You know, it's almost like, you know, as it goes down, it has this power. Um, and this power seems to be what motivates who's ever in this Five of Cups to turn around, move into the Two of Wands energy, start to feel that there's two cups that have yet to come. Um, but pff, I have a feeling they're on there, right? I have a feeling they're out there. Uh, it's interesting, I'm seeing like two horseshoes. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, um, but I just want to say that. So, again, this path is illuminated. I think I'm going to leave that be. Um, you know what, I'm going to put this out, and I'm certainly going to try to become more focused on, maybe I need to write it down, but I would like to hear your feedback on this. Um, I know it went into like personal readings and I'm going to put it out because I feel like it's someone that is meant to hear what's what was said. Um, but I am also going to put it out as like a tarot lesson. So I want to know like um, what is it that you want to know or um, what do you even think of this idea? Maybe, I don't know. Just be honest with me. I want, I want the truth. So I'm going to let that be because if it's too long, no one will ever watch it. Um, but that is how I read Tarot. I love you guys. Um, there will certainly be more, and it's going to be based on what is said with this video. I leave it up to you. I love you guys. Bye-bye.